Hello, all of my fellow beach bums out there to another game of Santa Monica. Um, <clears throat> we're going to get started here really shortly. Sorry for some of the delays. I am joined by the developer of Santa Monica, John Goodenough. Hi, everybody. Hey. The production uh, uh, guy on Santa Monica, Dave Lepore. Everybody. I couldn't think of the exact title, and I said production guy. <laughs> Um, and then, of course, the person who has been selling our copies of Santa Monica, Kyle Nunn. How's it going, everybody? Along with his daughter there. And, of course, we have Vladimir Oriana on tech. Hello, everyone. Our, our tech guy slash lover of the seagull named Oscar. Oh, yes. Um, awesome. Well, everyone, uh, get ready. You can set up at home if you haven't already done so. Let's talk about what cards we're playing with today. So um, I'm going to start with the back row. You should have card 17. So back row all the way to the left, card 17. That's the one that gets you points for having a chain of waves. Good in today's setup. We have the surf rental place called the surf. That is card 55. Um, we have the badminton court, that's card 36, and then card 58, which is the snowy plover information board. Uh, in the front row, starting on the left, we have the cat lady card, as I call it, that's card 50. Um, we have one of the lifeguard stands, card 13. We have card the camo lodge. Um, that is card 53, and we have a volleyball net card 28. We are playing with the orange beach towel, and um, our two sand dollars for today are pay three, take a card from the back, and then pay two and, uh, and take a shopping bag, um, uh, nature spot, or a sports from anywhere. Um, that's what we're playing with. Uh, if you haven't set up, take the time to set up. And Vlad, tell us who's joining us today. Today we have on the chat Luke Seegers, Kevin Renown, Sherry Drefke, David Bauer, Matt Raz, M Michael Bantern, <clears throat> Asian, Kurt Heinemann, Kristen Dingens, Julian Lehner, Theodore Richter, Leslie Clixby, Thomas Grip, Alice Wood, Ryan Moss, Kristen Dins, Amy Kim, Christine Hell, Michael Lewis, Michelle Lewis, Darren Green, Darren Green, Cassandra Haitley, Brian Poole, Richie Yang, Tori Haitlin, and Krista Jones. Hello and welcome to a new game of Santa Monica. Please remember, if you want to be part of our giveaways, you just need to like and share the stream in your timeline, and you can win a copy of Cat Lady. This is Cat Lady Week, because tomorrow we are playing for the first time Cat Lady on the live stream. And that reminds me that I need to talk with Josh to figure out some of the details for the setup to get everything ready for tomorrow. But we are pretty excited of playing Cat Lady tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, Cat Lady, good game. That designer is a little bit of a, well, it's a family show. I won't say anything. Hard to work with. Hard to work with. Wow. Just come out and say it, Kyle. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Emmy said just hopping in to say hello. Back to work now. Well, thank you for showing up and saying hi. Uh, Michelle says been dying to play Santa Monica, but um, their store does not have it. And I think I miss some people. Uh, it, so is I'm sell say it is selling out. Yeah. Tell, tell tell your tell your local store to to to, to get on it, or you just will have to go to an online retailer. I think I miss Andy Vett, Richard Gans, and Omar Hernandez. Hello, guys, and Kyle. Uh, do we still have some Santa Monica in your online store? Uh, I we don't shouldn't. Think so. Yeah. I don't think we have. I don't think we have any on our online store. I think we're sold out. So. Copies are going to be a little scarce until that reprint yeah, happens. No, no, no. 
Uh, Darren Green and Cassandra both have uh, are saying that they haven't played this one and they're excited to learn. Yeah, we're going to be playing a game today. So it's going to, you know, it'll be a good way to kind of get a little bit of the idea. Uh, oh, Kirsten says, watching from the parking lot of the emergency bed, I have a very sick little kitty. Um, and they aren't letting the cat ladies go with our kitties. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, I had to take my cat to the uh, vet last week and um, I know what it's like. You drop off your cat and you just have to stand outside. And we were there for three hours. Everything's fine with, with my cat, Marshmallow. Um, she's actually sleeping right next to me right now. Um, uh, but I hope that your cat turns out okay. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get started, everyone. I know that I'm excited. So we're going to take the first turn, taking the cards from the bottom row. Um, speaking of cat lady, I'm going to take the card with the cat on it. That's the sort of the one I you're just showing up. a little bit you, you know it's funny like I have I, I I think about my first move like well in advance because we're saying for the show I set up for like 30 minutes so I've had 30 minutes to think about my first turn so um uh what so what, what cat what cat is that from the game know you know it's funny I, I I didn't I didn't actually choose a specific cat um i um i believe that would be probably uh that would probably be henrietta um, she's the only calico in the base game other than sweetheart but that's a stray cat and um you know maybe i should just say it's sweetheart since that was one of my cats growing up as a kid um <clears throat> all right so i took from where the foodie is so i'm gonna get to move one of the meeples um in, in my town. All right, so this card's gonna slide down and a new one's gonna be replaced with the condos, the 75. All right, um, everyone, I'm gonna roll the die and that's gonna say what card we're gonna remove because the dreaded Oscar is gonna take one of our cards. No. And Oscar takes from where the foodie is. Not a great start for us, but it is okay. It makes that camouflage really tempting to take since it has now both tokens below it. Um. Okay. Josh, are we trying to uh, separate wave groups based on the towel? No, no. You want you want um, your max points are going to be for getting a wave group of four. So you're oh, going to score every wave group, and then you're going to get points based on how big each wave group is going to be. So if if you have two wave groups of two, you'll get three points for each of them. And if you have two wave groups of four, you'll get 10 points for each of them. If you have a wave group of four and one of one, you'll get a total of 11 points. Good question, Dave. Where, yeah, Kurt says, where's the cats to chase Oscar away? Yes. <laughs> And David Bauer says, Kaka. Taking in front of the, um, the foodie gives you a stand dollar or does it give you movement? There's a movement, right? Movement, yep. Okay. Yeah, food truck gives you uh, the sand dollar, the foodie gives you moves. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, uh, Kristen is talking about their cat, um, Birdie. Birdie is 16. Yeah, he not being in there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's stressful not being able to be in there. Um, just know that, you know, they are doing their best. Um, and Kurt says, mine is a black cat, ducked feather hair while it runs after him. His name is Crazy Charlie. It's a funny name for a cat. I've had to name so many cats based on Cat Lady. Um, and once again, join us tomorrow. We're going to be playing Cat Lady. It's going to be fun. Um, all right, my second turn, I am going to be taking this wave card. I kind of was eyeing that one also behind it. Oscar didn't take it, so I am okay with that. All right, and the new card that comes out is card 51. All right, speaking of that dreaded Oscar. Ooh, Oscar takes the camouflage, or rather takes where the food truck is. Uh, mine is the camouflage on your board. It may be something different. Um, 
that is it's a little harsh because they broke up the um, the two tokens, but all right. And the new card that comes out is a volleyball net card number three. All right. Now I have to think about what I want to do. Uh, I think I think I want to get a good wave group going. I think that's just the smart play today. So I'm going to start off with uh, grabbing the badminton court. It also allows me to move. David Bauer is saying that they use Kaka as a code for vertical signals when playing AD and D back in the day. The interesting thing is that my group did the same 10 years, 15 years ago. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Chris says, thanks. Can't wait to see Cat Lady played. Yeah, I'm excited for, for Cat Lady. It's going to, I think it, the system that works well, it's based on the solo mode, is in the expansion box of treats. Uh, plus one on Cat Lady tomorrow. I'm excited to brush that one. Thank you. Yeah, we look forward to having people there. Um, all righty. Uh, my, my fellow, my fellow players, how are you guys doing? Have you, have you taken your third turn? Yes. I'm ready for Oscar to do his shen shenanigans here. So. All right. Let's see what Oscar's shenanigans are. Takes card four. Yeah, I can definitely live with that. I was hoping he wouldn't take the double wave. So. Oh, you have a double wave on your board. Ooh. That's uh, very good to have a double wave. Um, I don't have a double wave on my board. Um, all right. Let's see here. I could do, could do this card and hope that a cool chain comes out. Um, I really actually need, I actually need some tours just to come out. That would be pretty good. Welcome, um, Stefan. I will take it. I will take it and just see how that works out for me. Uh, Hold on. What did Oscar take? Oscar took card number four for their third turn. My fancy list trackers. All right, that's my fourth turn in the book. You know, a, I should think about it's a pretty solid actually. wave group. Is the wave group per card based on the, on the towels wave group per card or is it per icon? It's per icon. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So getting those double wave cards are super good. Yeah, yeah. Can't come and just did what I just did, uh, or just said what I just did. All right, and then Dandy's Dapper Donuts comes out. I love Dandy's Dapper Donuts. That's based off of oh. Randy's. That's here in Los Angeles. Josh came in is saying that we need to move Oscar on your player turn. Yeah, I just did. Okay, I was a little behind. All right. Oscar's fourth turn. Kristen is saying, you all know I want to watch Cat Lady play it tomorrow. Still hoping to win the promo cats for my copy of Calico. I'm a certified crazy Cat Lady. That's great, Kristen. Uh, I, I'm still unsure of how we are going to give out some of the other promo cats for Calico, but as soon as we know it, we'll let you know. And right now on your screen, you're going to start watching a pool for the second season of live streaming from EG. We are figuring out what will be the best time schedule for you guys to join us. So please, please give us a hand and fill that pool. It will show up soon on your Facebook screen. Awesome. Okay. This is where I get a little bit kind of want flux of sand, but I also kind of don't want flux of sand. 
No, Josh, I remember working on Cat Lady and when we were talking about the the style and, you know, this is back in the original game. I remember thinking, well, we're probably not going to do another Cat Lady game. And it just goes to show, <laughs> never, never say never. I mean, I would yeah, have thought we'd I, have uh, multiple cat games, but. Yeah, you know, you know, that's a funny story. I, I do remember that um, the game was just signed by AG. And I was at BorgCon. And I, I remember exactly where I was standing when Z kind of like told me, he's like, you know, like the game doesn't have to be about cats, um, which, you know, I, I believe there's quite a bit of theme in the game. And um, I actually think that the cats really do help the, help the theme. And I, and I really like cats. And, but the idea that you collect food for them and all that stuff, I, I think that, you know, uh, it was important to me about the cats. And when John was kind of saying that, like, you know, I didn't want to like lose, you know, like my, you know, AG on like publishing the game. And I, I, but I remember I kind of stood up to John and I said like, look, I, I actually think you're wrong. I think that it is a cat game. And I think that it should stay a cat game. And, you know, I, I, um, I'm I'm very uh, happy that we were able to to you know keep that theme. Oh hey, Daryl Andrews is is in the chat, um, saying that the cat theme is uh, is important. Daryl Andrews is um, you know the designer of um, Sagrada as well as Bosk wow. and many other great games. You know Daryl Andrews. Uh, you know he used to work. I think it was for. Well, maybe I should say the company name. He used to work for a company, and he was taking pitches. And I pitched Santa Monica to Daryl Andrews a, a, a long time ago. And, you know, he was really excited about it. And I put a little thank you to Daryl in the rule book. Um, he was always a big supporter of this game. So, hey, hey, Daryl. Nice. Yeah, it's one of those you look back and you wonder how could it possibly not be cats? Like, oh, yeah. yeah, what yeah, else yeah, would, yeah. would fit? Other than dogs, yeah. maybe. But. Other than talks, baby. <laughs> um, all right. I think for my turn. Big I'm fan, Daryl, take... but I don't know where I'm going to put the next expansion. The, the, the box is full, man. I need options. The box is yeah, da... full. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Daryl said, uh, I love this game. I really try to get assigned with blank company. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and, and you know, it almost was picked up by another company also. And like, um, you know, they, they were playing a lot and uh, there was a lot of like design changes that kept happening. And um, it was, uh, you know, it didn't it didn't work. And then uh, re replying to Daryl Floodgate. No, it, it wasn't, it wasn't Floodgate, but. Um, hmm. um, okay. Yeah. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Did Oscar take his fourth card? Uh, he took his fourth card from the from the um, food truck. Okay, gotcha. And I just took my fifth turn, so we're ready to go on to the um, to Oscar's fifth turn. By the way, this whole Oscar mode for people who don't know, this is just the how the solo mode works. It's just a way that we can play with you online. I probably haven't called out a couple of cards that have come out. I think I didn't mention card eight here that came out. And I don't think I mentioned card three and seven when it came out. I get bad at that. It's so many things I have to track. I have to like play the game. I have to like move these tokens up here. I have to like roll the die. I have to like calculate Oscar score. I get lost. I get so lost in this. All right. Um, all right, Oscar's fifth turn is where I'm at. And then I get I get distracted when when the the wonderful Daryl Andrews comes and joins. Um, all right, so Oscar takes from where the foodie is. That is actually pretty good for us. Eh. Unless we're playing, unless we're going to, unless we're scoring in Hartman today. Alrighty. I think I'm going to have to 
play a little risky. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay, I think, um, all right. So it is our sixth turn, everyone. And for my sixth turn, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna spend two sand dollars. And I am gonna use this action to take the flux of sand. It's based off of the um, Muscle Beach. It Google Muscle Beach looks similar to that. It's like the my funny little homage to it. It's very iconic. It's, it's and it's bizarre. It just sits on the beach and you know it was big. That's where like Arnold Schwarzenegger was like discovered, and um, these guys would come work out on the beach. And um, nowadays people go and work there. Um, work out there and, and people still come and watch them, but it's funny, all the equipment's like super rusted over and... Oops. Daryl, I would love to develop one of your games. I would love to do that. All right, Oscar's sixth turn is coming up. Let's roll this die. Card number one for Oscar, card number one. All right. Ah, oh, this is the part of the game that, um, that I don't like, where I don't want to take any of these cards specifically because I have something in mind. I have like a plan and I needed to kind of hatch before I... Mm. Sometimes what I like to do in these situations is I like to just try to grab a bunch of sand dollars. And I think I will. I'm in a little bit of a, a little bit of arrears right now because I don't have any. Um... <laughs> David saying, I don't, oh, I don't no, have the cards that I need. Shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The, those, by the way, those, the donuts at Randy's, they're so good. I, I, I think that that is like the greatest, um, that is the greatest donut shop. If you're ever in LA, it's, it's odd. It's not like in a good spot to like, like tour. It's by the airport and there's like almost no reason to go there, but I always happily drive people to the airport just so I can go to Randy's donuts. Hey, Josh, I'm going to move Oscar because he's, the Cooper was standing on top of Oscar, so now Oscar is safe. I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh oh, Cooper is oh, on the have, screen. You, you have got it. <laughs> Cute. Well, I can't. I don't know. What cra crazy best donut? Yeah, Randy's Randy's donuts in LA. I think they're the best, especially like if if you are happy with just like a general like glazed donut hmm. i think it's I think it's the best glazed donut there's a lot of things i mean there's i mean i uh, if you're if you've been if you've been to this um um to, to our live place this before you know that i love just talking about food i love talking about yep. food Dave. I get, I'm also just so so much hungrier for like going out and getting these food while like during covid like don't get me wrong i cook a lot of good food my girlfriend cooks a lot of good food. Yeah, we we are eating it super well. Mm -hmm. But like, I've just been thinking about these places that haven't been able to, you know, go for like eight months, and I'm missing it. All right, on to my seventh turn. My seventh turn is going to be to take this card. <laughs> Dave, what makes a great card. donut for you? What makes a great donut for me? Yep. Simplicity. Just the just soft. Warm, not a lot of extra, no extra toppings. Just a pure, plain glazed donut at mm -hmm. the right temperature, at the right um, density. 
Um, Dave, Dave, have you have you been to um, Randy's? Uh, I have not been to Randy's. No, uh, we got uh, go. we got donut so good. far from us though, and they have those things. Uh, yeah. Okay, so simple glaze, fewer toppings, soft, right temperature. Yeah. How sweet? Uh, you know the the uh, to me. The Krispy Kreme is a glazed donut, hot and fresh is, is just about perfect. I, I don't think I've had a better donut. Awesome. Goody, mm -hmm. what makes a great I, donut for you? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm it, probably nostalgia. It's the sugar donuts, uh -huh. like at State Fair. Oh, the little and, ones. Yeah, the little mini donuts that are just, you know, covered in sugar and when they're, you know, hot and, uh, and fresh. And I think just... There's nostalgia sprinkled on those too. That's mm. always, uh, you know, it, tr it just triggers a lot of good memories. You know, the whole. And the other nice thing about the mini donuts too, is you can lose track of how many you ate. So after the third bag, you're like, oh, I've only had a couple. Wait, 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 wait. third bag? I thought that you were mentioning that yeah. one small bag, and you you lose count no, on no. that bag. Three bags. They're, they're mini donuts, so you can just keep on eating them. You know, whether regular sized donuts, you're like, if you had three donuts, well, then you're a pig. Right? Okay. Yeah, the little mini ones, you can just eat like, a bunch more. Uh, you know, you know, uh, Daryl says sidecar donuts is the best Cali donuts. Sidecar donuts are really good. They're really good. Kyle, um, what's your uh, favorite donut or what makes a donut great for you? I mean, I am always a huge fan of a perfectly warm glazed donut. Um, but I've had a few absolutely amazing over-the-top cake donuts, and uh, I'm gonna have to say those are my favorite indulgence. Cake donuts, okay, that sounds that yeah. sounds amazing. There was a place just down the road from where I used to work uh, called Hertz Donuts in Madison, Wisconsin, or Middleton, Wisconsin, and they made delicious cake donuts. <laughs> Wow. You know, every time I, may, I hear you guys mention food from the south of the U.S., I just want to travel and go because it, it, it just sounds delicious. The south has some great food, for sure. Well, okay, so this Oscar was up in the Cardinal Midwest, so oh, we can't say that's southern food. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you for in, the in fact, cake donuts are, In fact, cake donuts are, I think, definitely more of a northern thing, right? And, mm, um, okay. Cause, cause in the south, in like the southeast, um, like it, like Krispy Kreme kind of like reigns supreme there. And they're, I mean, Krispy Kreme are really good. I used to be on a bowling team, and we would get out of the bowling alley at like, I think we get out at like 11 p.m. And then that's when um, Krispy Kreme would be making their donuts for the next day. And so we were eating them like fresh, just like right out. Oh, they're so good. I like a good donut. Um, so we're at the end of round seven. Do we have an announcement that we need to make? Well, I think that ev everyone knows by now that we're changing our seasons uh, for the live stream. We're moving from season one to season two. We just made some few changes for that. Originally, we were going to end on uh, Cat Lady on Thursday for game 150. We are now going to end on Friday for game 151. So uh, we're changing the scale for next week. We're going to play... Tiny Towns on Monday, Cat Lady on Tuesday, uh, on Wednesday we're playing Santa Monica, Thursday we're going to have our last game of Tiny Towns for game 150, and on Friday for the game 151 we are going to play Space Base! And that's going to be the wrap up and the end of this first season of our live streams, and we really hope that you guys join us. For those two final games, we're going to have a bunch of prizes and we have to have a lot of viewers. So please help us reach out more people and play with us. That's How's it. This well, I'm super late. That's totally okay. Hey, do, Vlad, do you want to show people my board so people can see what's going on? And I sure. can talk a little bit about my what was the last card haphazard that was strategy. Whoops. It was card number four. Ah, everything went great. It was easy to miss because we, there, was so much, there was so much donut talk. Oh wow, those are not that Oscar donut talk. Turn seven to card number four. Yeah. Okay. Your board, yeah, I mean your board, Josh. Yeah, so I was looking for like a nature chain right here, and then if I get a really good nature card, 
that wants a chain, I'll put it there. But also I just see one that produces people. If I can find one that produces four people, they'll easily go to the badminton and they'll go to here. I got this chain now starting with the sports. I don't know what I'm doing with this left side of my board, but I do have a three wave chain. And so I'm pretty happy about that so far. That's kind of where I'm going. Okay. Let's get back to the game. All right, so my eighth turn. Well, you're late I'm because gonna... I'm asking the chat to tell me what's their favorite donut. Kurt says, so next week, correct. Yes, so next week will be the end of, of the season. season. One. Yeah. I don't know exactly what we're, when we're coming back. We don't quite know what's... Um, I don't know what's exactly happening, but um, we'll, we'll let you know. All right. Oh, see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Card 76, the recycling center came out. So I could put that very comfortably in that area. And just that's an easy four points, which I might do, which I might do. All right, Oscar's eighth turn. <coughs> Oscar takes card number four. Why, Oscar, why? That one wasn't bad for me. I was okay with that. Psychic Bikes goes down, and this little picnic table comes up. Okay. That's the last card, 78. Uh, um, this is the last card I designed in the game. I was like, hmm, I feel like the game needs one more big ring, and and then I already had like the correct number of icons I wanted the game, so I was like, okay, I just need to place like a big ring, there's no icons, and that was my quick card design. <laughs> All right, let's get back um, to the games. Wait. All right, card. I mean, it is our uh, card nine. Is that, are we going to do nine? Yep, we're doing nine. All right, turn nine for me. Sherry, I think I'm going to keep the best, this. the best thing about all these games is that you can go back to our videos, click on them, and you will be able to play with us no matter when this happens so thank you for playing with us next week uh, and we're coming back i mean we just need to so we just need a little bit of rest we need to prepare for the next season and we need to figure out what will be the best content that we can give you for next season to keep you entertaining there is going to be more prices there is going to the, the community is still going to be here and we just want to have some time to create something great. In the meantime, please join the different AG groups on the web and be part of this amazing community of people. I mean, so much of you guys are so awesome and we really appreciate that you just gather and play games with us. Yeah, and, and like we said, Cherry, all, all the videos, all 140 or whatever games are posted you can yep. sit down and play them. That's the great thing about this. Yep. And every time uh, you defeat card, Josh, and... you can send us a comment and say, I just defeat Josh as a score on Tiny Towns. And we will post that online. <laughs> Sounds good to me. All right, Oscar just took card number one. You guys heard that was like my whole strategy I built towards. And it was taken away from me because Oscar is just the worst. Oscar is just Fruit, the cream, feel it. So, some of the favorite donuts from the chat: maple bacon, twist, glass donuts, walnut crunch, chocolate eclair, Boston cream, chocolate glaze, maple, honey dip, plain chocolate mm. glaze, Kinder Bueno, fruit cream field. I'm so <laughs> hungry right now. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Why? I know. Look, I was I was willing to drop the whole the whole thing. Like I, I was just I was just gonna talk about like board games and things like that with people, and then and then you had to just make this all about about donuts. I know. I'm hungry. I'm blaming you, Vlad. It's my. I'm fault. blaming you. All right. For my tenth turn, I am taking uh, psychic bikes because. 
my score is not going to be great today. I can already tell you that. I can kind of feel it kind of like, like, like getting away from me because I, I'm not getting enough meeples. I have so many rings. I have one, two, three, four, five, six rings and only three people. Like this is, this is bananas. I was trying to go for the bottom thing of each ring filled, but I have not had enough cards that come out that allow me to fill those rings. I, I will probably be forced to take uh, Kaiji Squid next turn, but I need tourists. I really need those tourists. And my turns are running out. All right, Oscar, help me out. Take me, take, don't want. Oscar takes a card that I did want, or a card that I was going to take if no other options came out. Keegan, the question so, is, what's your favorite donut? What card did Oscar take? For Oscar took from where the food truck is. Okay. So my friend Ali is running a contest where you have to disguise as a board game. And, well, I had 30 minutes yesterday. You know where this is going, uh, right? No, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What What was the... So my friend Alec had a contest of dressing up as a board game. You have to create a costume for Halloween and you have to disguise as, this guy as a board game. And it was hard, but uh, I got 30 minutes yesterday and this is how I ended up looking like. Wait, it, it, is this the thing that I do? Like, look, what did you end up looking like? It's on the screen. Oh, I have to pause and see. <laughs> and, well, I think it was funny trying to f dress up as a meeple or as a game component or something similar. And, well, I'm really not good at costume making, but it was a fun thing to do. Uh, the character from Ghost Splits. Yeah. That's a, that is a, um, that's a great game. That's a great kid's game. I, I like to play that. I don't think I don't think I've ever played that one. What's the What's premise wrong with besides you? ghosts? Well, are you, are you a ghost or are you ghost hunting? You are. So, the ghost is the one of the characters in the game. Actually, you are trying to get things from the ghost. He has a deck of memories, and you have to try to figure out what's the correct object that he's hunting. So you you're, you're grabbing. Oh, those. is is that the deduction game that it's kind no, of like no, blue it's... and. Or... No, the way it works, it's it's kind of, it's very clever. Mm -hmm. You'll flip over a card. So there's like five objects and you'll flip over a card and it will show two shapes and two colors. Mm -hmm. And then you have to go, you have to grab the object, object and color or the, the object basically that isn't shown. So you or get a, you get an object is correct. Then you have to get that one. So. Okay, every card has two objects and two colors. And then on the table, you have an object, five objects, and five different colors. So you have to choose an object that doesn't have any color and doesn't match any picture on the, on the card that is showing. Uh -huh. So that's how you map mm -hmm. and that's how it changes. So when it shows up, the first guy to grab it is the one that scores the points. But if the card shows something that actually is an object out there, you have to grab that exact object. Okay. So there's like yeah. this, there's like that, that, that's like the weird like twist that your brain does in the game. All right, I'm gonna take Kaji Squid for my turn because I just need meeples desperately. And thankfully those guys can move a lot of spaces. Um, I, it's interesting, the statue, perfectly fits in my hole and it's just worth eight points. I think I might want to do that. Although I will, if I just find a spot that gives me four meatballs, I also get eight points plus fill two rings, which will give me a bonus two points. So I don't know hundred percent if I'm going to do that, but it's tempting because the game is kind of getting later and later. Um, all right. That is my 11th turn, and now it's time for Oscar's 11th turn, and Oscar takes from where the meeple is. So Oscar takes the surf.
Oscar's taken from where the meeple is a lot today. Whether it was through a number or through actually rolling it. Let's see what comes out. Ugh. Still, just card number five. I think I'm going to give it one more turn before I grab this statue for eight. Okay, minutes. and we are offline because server crashed it. Give us one second and we will be right back as soon as I join Josh servers. Come on, internet. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to use this space to tease Josh. No, I'm not sure. Did only Josh crash? I'm fine. Looks yeah. like it. <laughs> oh wow! What we can what we can talk about? I think it's, this is a okay. I'm back. There he is. <laughs> well, you're not. Oh, yes, you, got, for you got lost. You got lost in time and space there. Yeah, and the server yeah. crashed because you were hosting. So I need to know the new name of the server. Um, you know, the server might be just back up because I, I'm in it still. So you might be able to just come back in. The name is Santa? Do... No, the other one. Uh, AG? Versus AG, yeah. Uh, there is no AG game right now showing. Okay. Can, me... you send me a, can, we, can you send me an invite? Oh, uh, well... All right, little little tech issues. A little bit of tech issues. It's okay. Do, 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 do. The good thing is that it um, okay. It should be back up. Should be the AG one. Okay, let me let me. Speak. I did have to reload. It did. It did kind of crash for me as well. AG, right? Uh, yes. Well, well, this refreshes. I'm gonna ask Kyle to tell us uh, an amazing story about board gaming because he has some. I mean, do we want to talk <laughs> about board gaming or food? Both. All right. So, thankfully, the uh, regional food is getting better here in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, so this Sunday, we were actually going to a restaurant from a James Beard Award winner. Oh, awesome. Uh, this is going to be fun. The place is called Automatic Seafood. And I will let everybody know next week how good it is. All right. That's awesome. All right. Server is back. Okay. Wait. So now on Server the is back. People. I still need to set up everything. <laughs> uh, okay. I was about to say, did I just tell the perfect, little, perfect link story? I... Um, my God, Kyle! Thank you. You're a savior. <laughs> <laughs> you got you got Oscar points for that. Oof! The Oscar does award. Mean, does that mean I can convince Oscar not to take things I need this turn? Wait, did you really call it the Oscar award, not the Oscars? <laughs> <laughs> Oscars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that could be a thing for Friday, the Oscar Awards. They're just called the Oscars, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I took my 12th turn already, and we're just waiting on Vlad to tell me when I could take Oscar's 12th You can turn. take Oscar's turn right now. Okay, so it's back up. Great. And before we run out, we finish the game, please remember, if you want to win a copy of Cat Lady today, like and share the stream. Kevin is saying that the server wanted to go for donuts. You know what? I'm just going to order donuts right now. It's a good call. All right, I'm going to break down and I'm going to take the statue worth eight points. I know. I know I had to sacrifice the possible 10 points for eight points, but uh, you know, sometimes you do what you have to do. Which, uh, which one did Oscar take for his 12th card? Oh, sorry. I didn't say that aloud. It's the food truck. 
He took the food truck for his 12th turn. Um, donuts. <gasps> no donuts available right now. And then I just took my 13th turn, which was the statue. No. Fitting that nicely in. I took that out a little bit. Does it hurt about hell for more likes and shares? Well, as long as you as long as you like it and as long as you share it in your timeline, it's it's everything that you need to do. Um, you don't get more entries the more shares that you do. We changed that a couple of weeks ago. So if you do it once, oh, I didn't know that. That helped. Yeah, I yeah, didn't know yeah. That was a thing. Yeah, we had to change the policies because uh, uh, we were we were being very effective on letting people know that we were doing things. And that upset some other people. So that's fine. All right. Oscar's 13th turn. Card number one. You know, the die might be a little uneven in this program. I think I just need to shrink the die because no twos or threes were rolled today. Yeah, twos or threes for gold today. Okay. And still nothing. Nothing that I need came out. Um, so my final turn will <laughs> be just to just one like it's okay, uh, Andy, thank you. My final turn will be just to Grab some sand dollars, I think. What did Oscar oh, take on turn uh, 13? Uh, Oscar took from card number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, this is slightly worth more. So I'm going to take this card. Oh, actually, that's two plus two. Yep. This is two plus plus you. Thank you. They're actually the same, so I'm just going to take that one. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, they're the same. So I will take that card. Great. All righty. That is the end of the game. Oh, now now my tours people show up. That'd been a perfect card too. Ugh, so funny. All right, Oscar for their final card is going to take from what the meeple is. Pretty good, Oscar. All right, final movement time, and Oscar's score is coming up. Are you scoring, Let Oscar? Let me move the screen. Scoring up, scoring Oscar. Scoring for Oscar. Let let me ring Oscar with me. Come boy. <laughs> there you go. What's Oscar supposed to eat between now and next week? Well, he's as always he's going to eat the tears of people not defeating him. And french fries. He likes <laughs> french, french fries. fries. Yeah, that's right. We said last time that he likes french fries. Time flies having fun. All right. Thank you. Okay. Dealer's oh, choice. <laughs> Good one, Ryan. Kevin is saying that Oscar is getting donuts. Oscar might be getting donuts because I'm not getting donuts because there is not coverage for donuts in my area. All right. 26, 32, 
43, 53. So Oscar's score is 53 on normal. On hard, 57. It's a low score for Oscar. And on easy, I'd have to think about this for just a second. On easy, it is 48. Low score for Oscar today. Oscar decided to be kind of nice. All right. Seven. Eleven. Seven, eleven. Oh, wait. I, wait. I was trying to score my score like Oscars. And then I was like, wait, I can't I can't do that. Yeah. Let's see One, two, Josh's three, scores. Seven. And while Josh um, counts his points, I'm going to let you on a little secret. And that secret is who was the winner of today's game of Cat Lady? Do you think you're the winner? We are ready to find that out in a couple of seconds. The winner is Team French. Team, please uh, send us a message on Facebook so we can send you your game. Thank you so much for be par being part of for giveaways, and I hope that you win. That you like your copy of Cat Lady. And by the way, for everyone that has been winning some prizes, uh, we have been having some delay in our uh, shipping system. They are gonna be arriving to you soon. All righty, um, three, 13. Is just going to defeat Oscar? You know, we'll see. How do I, we'll see. I count number two on the towel? Yeah. yeah, so just how many pairs you have of beach and street in the biggest uninterrupted block. I assume that doesn't include, does that include the starting tile? That does include the starting tile. Okay. So I've got seven pairs, that's 14 points. Yep. Right. You got it. No, no, no. So seven pairs is seven points. It's one point per set. So seven pairs of seven points. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, and then, okay. Sixty-one. Seventy-nine. Seventy-two. 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 Got a nice seventy-two points today. Wow. Ooh, nice. I got seventy-one, and uh, yeah, I think it was just due to too many leftover meeples. I got the um, the, the boardwalk. You know the no cards to the left yeah and to complete the wave which um i think i did maximize points even though it almost doesn't feel that way but i i was able to get that the extra uh wave so i scored 20 points on on the wave groups alone and then that oh, one nice. also had the the you know the wave chain so it was a, a great combo but I ended up taking five meeples without any rings to place them. And then I got one ring at the last minute and was able to dump some yeah. of those. But yeah, I just had too many, too many meeples. Um, I was going for ring strategy, but just got overwhelmed with meeples. But. It's so funny. I was, I was kind of doing the same thing, but I, I had so many rings and so few meeples. I had three unfilled rings at the end of that game, um, but yeah. I didn't have any unplaced meeples. I had I had five rings and they were all filled and I still had too many meeples. <laughs> so <laughs> wow. Just... Dave, how about you? How'd you do? <coughs> uh, 
with that, but not bad. I ended up at 67. Good. That is great. Yeah, I was trying to do that. And Kyle? I scored 60 points today. Wow, 60 that was, points. That was good. good score. Everyone, everyone getting over 60 is definitely good. We all beat Oscar on hard mode, even. And we got some good scores in the chat. 65. See, 65, 59, 59 beats Oscar on hard mode. So that's a really good score. Oh, Daryl left and I didn't get to say goodbye. Bye, Daryl. It's great having you on there. All right, everyone. Well, well, I think that is going to, my, my comments sort of just got destroyed. So, and it's all froze. Kurt says 63, but um, I think everything is good. And, he says that was zero. Well, at least you didn't get negative points. All right, everyone. <sighs> join us again tomorrow for Cat Lady. And um, join us, you know, for Friday for Space Base and next week for more fun games. Um, until then, everyone, stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow for Cat Lady. Yeah. Goodbye Take and care, thank everybody. you. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Hi, everyone.